It was Valentine's Day 2022, one of the craziest days of my life because I, did, I received this wonderful three-dimensional Vectra camera in the mail, came back from surgery, and my nurses begged me to do their buccal fat pad removal. Against my better interests, I decided to do it for the sake of academic discussion, and boy, did I learn a lot. Stay tuned. Here's a quick flashback of the surgical procedure. Sophie is a great patient. She wanted to go through with this procedure without any sedation on board at all. So this was purely local anesthesia, about five cc's of local numbing per side. No sedation, no pain medication. She wanted to go back to work right after. And after painting her mouth with a surgical prep, her operation went very well. Uh, as these normally do, and her buccal fat pads were asymmetric uh, and just a little bit smaller than the average size, but uh, the operation went very well. So as you can see here, her left was just slightly bigger than the right, and the operation was very routine. In fact, she was doing selfies the entire time. But the craziest thing of all is the results. It's only been two and a half weeks since surgery. Right now, it's the beginning of March 2022. And I had the opportunity to take a before and after of Sophia, who looks fantastic. Something about her just looks more radiant in real life. And I don't know what it is. She looks like skinnier maybe without being gaunt. I don't know. You judge for yourself. This is the before and after of Sophia after that procedure you just saw. Granted, it's only been two and a half weeks. So all the swelling has not gone down yet. She's still a little bit puffy, especially in the jowl region. But you might agree she doesn't look that much different. Or does she? There's something different, right? Maybe it's her eyes, who knows? Two-dimensional film does a very bad job at capturing the true essence of buccal fat pad removal surgery, and this is why it's so hard to describe the outcomes, predict the outcomes, and guide expectations. I always talked about this being a three-dimensional procedure, and finally, we have the resources to predict and judge outcomes in three dimensions, and it tells an entirely different story. This is a three-dimensional before and after heat map of Sophia's buccal fat pad surgery. Everything in orange is net negative from before. Everything else is an onlay of two pictures so that the pixels in every skin feature is overlapped. And this is what the results show. Two weeks after buccal fat pad removal, there is a measurable loss of volume in this part of the face, precisely where we talk about, maybe in other videos you've seen, the space in front of the masseter muscle and behind the corner of the mouth where the buccal fat pad occupies that rest. It's kind of hard to see this, especially in two-dimensional film, but when you look at this in three dimensions, the result speaks for itself. If we were to look at a vector analysis, this shows changes in position of the face, and what we can see in this vector analysis specifically is that there is an inward motion over this space in the cheeks. It comes in, and notably, there is an inward motion of the jowls as well. Indeed, people worry about it causing sagging and deflation of the face, but at this early stage, we can already tell, even with swelling, that the jowls are improved as well with buccal fat pad surgery. Now, this is only a case study of one patient, and as I accrue more and more patients, we will have a better assessment on what time period we see final results, definitive results, and what skin changes to, to expect. But the most important thing that I can see from this early result is it doesn't make you gaunt, it doesn't make your face droop, if anything, it makes the jowls better, and it causes a subtle visible result that is not only measurable, but makes you look, I don't know, somehow subtly more beautiful. So again, if we were to look at changes over time, the areas of change that are most notable are over this part of the cheek. This is the before and this is the after in three dimensions. As I rotate it around in three dimensions, this view, you start to see more of a convexity, or a concavity rather, over the mid face. And as we rotate it in different directions, finally we have a better assessment. This is my favorite view for change of before and after. The, the view that you see when I'm looking at the computer. In my opinion, it's one of the most unflattering views of the human face. But in this view, we can see that there is a definitive improvement. 
of the facial contour, or in front of the ear, in front of the masseter, before and after buckle fat pad removal. And I think this, these subtle three-dimensional dynamic changes are what makes this procedure so magical. And if you are interested in learning more or you want a three-dimensional study and prediction for yourself, please don't hesitate to come into our office. We'd love to meet you and help you out and also track your progress for the better understanding of this procedure moving forward. Have a good day. Thank you so much.